welcome back to my YouTube channel and the prep series. Um, I thought I would do sort of a day in the life and we'll do some of the Q&A questions that I put on my Instagram a couple of weeks ago because I know some of you guys want to know some little bits and pieces about prep so I thought I'd do one now and we'll probably do another one in a few weeks time closer to show and all that kind of thing but yeah so we are on how many weeks have I been prepping now maybe seven um I am I have to get my countdown to see how far out I am I am exactly 13 weeks out today um that's from show day so really I'm 12 weeks out because we don't class that last week peak week we don't do anything but chill um, so yeah, prep is still going really smoothly. My calories dropped a couple of weeks ago. I think I said that in the last video. Um, they're still the same. My cardio is still the same. Um, but my steps increased this week. So they are now 20k per day. Which sounds like a lot, but my classes are part of my steps. So like one body combat, for instance, is 6,000 steps. And that's only 45 minutes. So it's not crazy when I'm working, so it's fine. But yeah, so it's still going well. I'm still losing weight every week. I'm, Simba's growling in the background. I'm looking leaner. I'm starting to see my abs again, which is good. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna pop in a little physique update. Um, and then yeah, we'll get into some questions. questions what is my competing goal this year so I'm competing with two bros fit x and pca so my two bros basically it's hard because obviously I don't expect anything that I get but my number one goal is this year that I want to win one of my classes Whichever show, doesn't matter, I just want to win one of my classes. I came second and third last year, so this year I really want to win. <laughs> like we all do, but yeah. So that's like my number one goal for this year. Um, wow. The main goal really is I want to look better than I did last year. I'm really hoping I've got more muscle. So that is like the ultimate goal, just to bring an overall better package. But yeah, I really want to win one of my classes. So I want to win one of my classes and I want to come in the top five at British Finals in PCA. Whether that happens, we will see. It all depends on who shows up on the day. But they're my goals. So, next question. Lowest calories I was on last prep? 800. 800 calories every day. That was my lowest calories. Um, there's this big misconception that you can diet on really high calories. Prep is not a healthy sport. Um, and if you are a small female, like I am, I'm just under five foot one, you're probably gonna need low calories and lots of cardio. Which brings me on to the next question because my next question, how much cardio was I on? And I was on, we do it in calories, so I have to burn a certain amount of calories on the Stairmaster. We go by the Stairmaster number because that never changes. We don't use my watch, I take it off when I'm doing cardio. But I was doing 1,000 calories or 1,100 calories five days a week. So to break that down, that's like over an hour of Stairmaster five days a week. So a lot with 20K steps um, and um, my classes are obviously cardio so even though they're my steps it's still taken out of my body so yeah 800 calories is over an hour of stairmaster every 
well, not every day, five days. I still had two rest days a week, so pretty cushioned. <laughs> Let's continue. Now Simba's calmed down a little bit. <laughs> um, what is the best way to learn to pose and how to learn as a beginner? Um, I would say, number one, you need to get a posing coach. If you're a first timer, do not try and just learn to pose on your own. It's not a good idea. You want a posing coach. So um, there is free resources. So I said this in my... Um, how to save money competing video. But Emma Hyman, the posing pro, has a website with some videos that you can buy. They're like 25 pounds. That's a good place to start. Um, and then also Phoebe Hagen has the posing portal. I'm now using this. So you pay like a monthly membership fee and you can either have sessions or send in check-in videos. So they are the best place to start. And then from there, you can go on like, Two Bros website, they have their posing coaches, um, or just looking at like Instagram, like going on the PCA Two Bros Fit X pages, you'll find like people that are posing coaches. But I would always go for either Emma Hyman if you're doing PCA, Fit X, any kind of bodybuilding um, federation, or Phoebe Hagen for the IFBB route. So that's Two Bros. Um, but yeah, so there is how I would start. Please, please get a posing coach if you're going to think about competing because trying to do it yourself, you like, you need somebody out. Oh, I nearly slipped. You need um, someone else's eyes on you and someone who is experienced. So posing coach all the way. It's a cost, but you've got to think like if you can get into shape, but if you can't pose and show your body off in the best way, then you might as well not get lean, you know? Um, so yeah, do I train differently when I am in prep? No, um, I train exactly the same. Um, the only thing that changes is towards the end of prep, instead of doing a lot of like free weight exercises, Lloyd changes me to doing more machine based exercises. And that's more just to prevent any type of injury and obviously, the more tired you get in prep, the harder it is to kind of train free weights. And I mean that in terms of like posture um, and just being able to lift as heavy. Like we all can lift heavier with a machine, um, especially in terms of like stability. It's just, you're not gonna injure yourself. So I don't train differently. I still aim to increase my weight or progress with reps every single week. Um, so like, Last week, I got a 230 leg press, which I was really happy about. I had to get that in there somewhere because it was a PB. But yeah, I still train exactly the same. You still want to train with progressive overload because otherwise you're going to lose muscle if you start to lift lighter. Ultimately, you're going to lose strength at the end of prep, but you never want to be lifting lighter. You just stay the same if you can't increase. But yeah, so same. That was a bit of a long-winded answer, so I'm sorry about that. Um, how do shuns, shuns, how do shows run on the day? Um, each show is different and it depends on who you're competing with. Most shows will give you out a breakdown of what class is competing and when. NFM are a really good one for this. They like send the athletes exactly when they've got to be where, what happens next. But generally you will, after you've literally made up yourself, so makeup, tan, hair, etc., you'll go to the venue and then you will be waiting backstage 20 minutes before you're going to go on stage. They will glaze you and then you'll be backstage pumping up. You'll go on stage, um, everything will happen on stage and then you will either get your awards there and then, um, they'll tell you the results, etc., and then you'll leave or you'll come off stage, more categories will go on and then they'll do the, the awards later on. Um, so it depends on the show with that, but yeah. Most of the time, the federations will bring out a show day schedule and if you're an athlete there, they will give you a personal like email that will tell you what's going on that day and when. So yeah. Uh, uh, um, what is the hardest part? Hardest part of prep for me is Sim. He's so angry today. 
Um, yeah, the hardest part of prep for me is teaching classes towards the very end because I have to be happy and energetic and sometimes, especially evening classes, I just want to go to bed. So that is generally the hardest part for me personally, but it's, I still handle it quite well, I think. <laughs> um, coffee is my best friend, not after 2 p.m. though. But yeah, so that'll be the hardest part for me. Not eating, you just get used to it. You get used to the hunger. And when you've got the goal, like my eyes are so focused like on the goal, I'm not even fussed about the fact I'm hungry. Um, and yeah, so that would be the hardest part for me. What else have we got? Um, how do I manage full-time work while prepping? Organisation is key. So I will literally, if I've got cardio to do in the morning, I will do that before my day starts. So I'll do it before my first class or I'll do like half before, half after, before my first client so that what I've got to do for me is done. I also try and train first thing, like as soon as I can. So I'll do my cardio, have a bit of a chill, do some posing, and then I will train. Um, Cause yeah, I it, otherwise it just gives me anxiety. If I know that I've got it, especially if it's like a leg day, if I know I've got to train legs like in the evening, I hate it. I cannot train in the afternoon, evening, I hate it. I have to train like between eight and 11, that's my time. Um, so yeah, it's just prioritizing, like making a list, um, knowing like what you've got to do and when and then once you get into that routine it's just really simple and in prep you need to just be a creature of habit and just do the same thing every single day so like even when i'm not working on like a sunday i will still do i'll still get up at the same time still go and do some steps do the same thing apart from cardio and training but yeah so time management organization is key um, but yeah, it can get stressful, but I really don't understand how anybody who has like a job other than working in the gym preps because like Jesus, like, imagine being a nurse and having to prep. How? Don't know. But yeah, so I actually think I'm pretty lucky in that respect. Um, but yeah, so that's a few questions. I will show you a bit of my training session from today to break this long talk up. was my training video. I had a new program this week. Usually we would deload on a new program, but I had to have a deload a few weeks ago because of my hamstring. But yeah, it's going really well. Um, I was super sore this week because classes went back inside. So I had a lot more classes to do, but still got some PBs like that leg press that I mentioned. But yeah, I'm still really enjoying training. Cardio is still really easy and doable. So it's all going swimmingly. Now that we're like 12 weeks out, I think in the next sort of four or five weeks is when it's gonna start to get difficult, but I love it when it gets difficult. So yeah, it's exciting. I'm just so excited. I've got a shoot in six weeks time. So I'm really excited for that. And I'm hoping to be like pretty lean, by then it's going like in that direction but yeah so pretty happy it's all going well i feel like i never have anything bad to say but at the moment it still is really fine um so yeah but don't worry when it gets hard i will tell you i promise <laughs>
So I hope you've enjoyed this video um, and that it's been insightful in terms of some of the questions that I generally get asked around prep. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching the video. If you haven't already, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.